After losing Alex Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the space of six months, a proven number nine tops Arsenal's wish list and Gabriel Jesus has become available at Manchester City. Steven Gerrard has already snapped up Sevilla centre-back Diego Carlos, but a raid of former club Rangers for left-sider Calvin Bassey would be a shrewd move. New boys Bournemouth will need to tighten up at the back after promotion and bringing Liverpool defender Nat Phillips back on loan could help them do just that. If, as expected, Christian Eriksen leaves Brentford, he will leave behind a gaping hole in midfield. The Bees would be wise to look at Benjamin Bourjou of Rennes. With Dan Byrne departing for Newcastle in January and Mark Kukurea linked with City, Brighton can solve their left-back shortage by nabbing Porto's Nigerian fullback Zaidu Sanusi. There's been a centre-back exodus at Chelsea this summer, led by Antonio Rudiger. The Blues can find the perfect replacement in Spain in Sevilla's classy Frenchman Jules Quinde. Crystal Palace made a big leap last year but still need to inject more goals into their forward line. Having failed with a loan offer two summers ago, a renewed bid for Watford winger Ismail Lassar would do the trick. After narrowly avoiding relegation, Everton have to be better this year. Chelsea youngster Armando Broja, either on loan or permanently, will beef up their forward options. A new goalkeeper will offer an instant upgrade for Premier League new boys Fulham and German international Bern Leno is surplus to requirements at Arsenal. Leeds have already been active in the transfer market, but if they lose Rafinha to Barcelona, as has been mooted, then Club Bruges tricky winger Noah Lang could be the ideal replacement there. Leicester boss Brendan Rodgers is targeting up to six new faces, and if Yuri Tielemans departs, central midfield will be an area for urgent attention. Benjamin Burrijo can fill the void left by the Belgian. Darwin Nunez's arrival addressed Liverpool's immediate attacking needs, but with Jordan Henderson and James Milner the wrong side of 30, Borussia Dortmund starlet Jude Bellingham would add midfield dynamism. Left-back is one of the few weak spots in Pep Guardiola's Man City behemoth. Brighton flyer Mark Cucurella could solve that problem in a heartbeat, and he's ex-Barca. Where do you start with Manchester United? Perhaps their greatest need is a controlling central midfielder. Barca's Frankie de Jong starred under Eric Ten Hag at Ajax, and the Catalans do need cash. With Chris Wood, goal shy and Callum Wilson injury prone, a striker is Newcastle's most pressing concern. Rame hitman Hugo Ekiteki offers the perfect upgrade. A big part of Nottingham Forest's promotion success was the form of their loanees. Bringing Aston Villa forward Keenan Davis back would bolster a front line which looks otherwise light. Southampton flirted with Alex McCarthy and Fraser Forster as number ones last season. That has to change. Gavin Bazunu will make the gloves his own. With Enix's £150 million injection burning a hole in his pocket, Antonio Conte has already been busy. Middlesbrough right back Jed Spence looks like the perfect player for the Italian system. With European football again this season, West Ham's paper thin squad needs depth. Watford talisman Emmanuel Dennis is available after providing 16 goal contributions despite relegation. Reducing their dependence on Raul Jimenez is once again key for Wolves. Liverpool no longer need Takumi Minamino, who impressed on loan at Southampton, could a move suit all parties.